So there are three big mistakes that are made that we see all the time when it comes to sizing an air conditioner. And these three mistakes create all sorts of havoc for your AC system, along with terrible indoor air quality. But what are these three mistakes? And how do you easily avoid them? Well, let's talk about it. Hi, this is Kenneth with Atlas AC, and at any point during this video, if you find it to be helpful, please hit the like button, and that will really help me out with the YouTube algorithms. So let's start off with a quick story. So the other day we had somebody call in, and they were requesting a bid to replace their AC system. So that's not a problem at all. So we sent somebody out to their house to take a look at everything, ran some heat loads, and put together a bid. And that bid was for a three-ton system. So we submitted our bid to them, and of course they were shopping, waiting for other quotes. And they let us know shortly after that they decided to go with a different contractor, which is all fine and dandy because you can't win them all. And about a month later, we receive a phone call from this homeowner again, and they're asking us to come out and take a look at their new install because the equipment's not working right. The system is turning off and on too quickly, and they're ending up with big temperature swings with hot and cold spots and humidity issues, and it just ends up being a big setback from their previous system. And they go on to tell us that the whole reason that they went with the other contractor is that they're willing to upgrade them from a 3-ton system to a 4-ton system for the same price. And now the AC system is just simply way too big for that house. And the results were disastrous, and it's just simply going to be no fun living in that house anymore until the AC system is sized correctly. So one of the big misunderstandings that most people have about their air conditioners is they'll think about it kind of like a car. So if you go buy a brand new car and it ends up being a lemon or you just simply don't like it, you can just simply go trade it in and get another one. But AC systems are not a commodity. They end up becoming part of the house. So once it's been installed, there's really no resale value or anything that you can do. You're literally starting from zero. And unfortunately for this customer, they could no longer get a hold of that HVAC company. And that was a whole reason they were reaching out to us to see if there's anything that we can do. But all we could really do is dust off our original bid to them for a three ton system. And you're probably thinking to yourself, Kenneth, that's a one off story and probably doesn't happen that often. Well, we get at least one phone call a week on this exact matter with a very similar story. So it ends up being a whole lot more common than you would think. So if you have any HVAC stories similar to this, make sure you let us know in the comments below. So the first mistake that most folks make whenever they're trying to figure out the sizing of a new air conditioner is thinking that bigger is better. Because bigger is not always better. It could actually have a pretty big negative impact on the climate of your home and air quality. Now, if you're trying to get a rough rule of thumb of how many square feet per ton would be right for a home, you might want to check out this video next. Now let's jump over and talk about sizing mistake number two. So this one's going to be the most common mistake that we see. So the way that this one usually goes is a homeowner is needing a new AC system. So for this scenario, let's say that they currently have a three and a half ton system on a 1990s home. And the total square footage of the house is 2,000 square feet. So they call up a contractor, they come out, assess your house, and then do some real basic calculations. You have a 1990s home on 2,000 square feet. On a home like this, the rough rule of thumb is 500 square feet per ton. So you need a four ton system. So you go ahead and give them the thumbs up to change out your three and a half ton system for a four ton system. So they get it changed out and everything buttoned up for you. But a week later, things just don't seem right. It still runs just as much as it used to. It doesn't seem to be cooling any better. And my humidity levels are really high. So now it's all sticky and nasty inside. So the mistake that's being made here is the emphasis was solely being put on the equipment alone and they didn't size the ductwork properly for a larger system. You see, the AC equipment and the ductwork go hand in hand because if the ductwork is not sized appropriately for the equipment, it's all pointless because you're actually going backwards and not forwards. Because if you only have three and a half tons of ductwork on your home and you install a four ton system, you're still only gonna get three and a half tons of airflow. But the system is trying to blow four tons of air and it can't because there's a bottleneck. And this bottleneck is going to end up damaging your equipment over time. And the extra pressure inside the cabinet is probably going to create humidity issues, which at some point will probably lead to microbial growth. And it just ends up being an all around mess. So when answering this question about sizing, you never only want to be looking at the equipment. You also need to be paying attention to the ductwork as well. Because even if the AC equipment is sized correctly, but the ductwork isn't, it's all pointless anyways. Now if you want to learn more about ductwork, check out this video next. And now we've come to our final AC sizing mistake. And this mistake has to do with home alterations. So let's say you have a four ton AC system right now, and you had it for years, and you haven't had any issues with it, and overall you're pretty happy with it. And let's say your house is a little bit older, and it's time to invest in a new roof, along with all new windows, and we might as well add some blown in insulation while we're at it. 
So you have all that work done, and some time goes by and you notice that your AC doesn't really run near as much as it used to. The temperature control in the house isn't as good as it used to be, because the AC isn't cycling the air near as much as it used to be, and the humidity level seems to be creeping up higher than what you're used to. And most people don't realize how big of an impact that something so simple like new windows and blown-in insulation can have reducing the heat load on the house. So now the 4-ton system's too big, and now it's short cycling. So the biggest thing that I'm trying to point out here is if you're in the market to replace your AC system, and you're also planning on doing some efficiency projects, or a remodel, or maybe even an addition to your home, is going to affect the size of the system that's needed for the house. So any changes that you make to the house could change the size that you're needing. So before going and replacing the equipment, you might want to get with your contractor and discuss a plan on how to overcome some of this. If you found this video to be helpful, please hit the like button. We also have free buyer's guides and price lists on our website that you might want to check out. Until next time, have a good one.